you know and with that ultra wide and that distortion in the foreground you just make that texture look crazy all right so reason number one why i love ultra wide lenses for street photography is gonna be the most obvious and that's just having the ability to fit way more in the frame like right now we're at 20 mil and it looks good maybe if i angle it down a little bit i'll be able to capture more of the street but what i really want is to capture that entire building which i can't do at 20 mil but let's open up to 10 mil man look at that that's night and day and now i'm able to capture way more of the street capture some light trails and still have the entire building in the frame so you know th this shot wouldn't be possible without an ultra wide all right so we're right across from the plaza hotel and you know there's really nowhere else i can go like this is as far as i can go to try and capture the entire building and you know at 20 mil we could capture the top of the building the oscar sign you know we could probably make that work but there's you know this pattern on the ground that i want to capture as well and you know that's where the ultra wide comes in clutch especially in these situations where you don't really have a lot of space so from 20 mil you know we'll go to 10 mil and now we got everything in the frame Second reason why I love ultra wides for street photography is going to be distortion. Now, what I mean by that, I mean making things look not normal, you know, making them look larger than they actually are. So, I'm going to give you a quick example with this arrow right here on the ground. You know, if you look at it, I mean, it looks normal. You know, we're at 20 mil, no, it's nothing special. But we open up to 10 mil. As you can see at 10 mil, that arrow looks way bigger than it actually is. And that's what I'm talking about with distortion. You're stupid. <laughs> you know, and that's why I'm always looking for patterns, especially edges, you know, like the corners of patterns, like right here. You know, something that I know I can distort and I know it will look interesting. So you see that? I'm already liking that. You know, especially with my reflections, I love to use distortion. You know, just to make that reflection look even more interesting you'll see right now see what I'm talking about again you know it looks normal here but with that ultra wide you know that front like little water bubble looks like it's being sucked into the frame you know it just it makes that reflection shot look you know 10 times better than if it was taken with another focal length all right third reason why i love ultra wides for street is you know the ability to create some really cool leading lines let's see how this looks you know i love using that with reflections with my phone You know, and it's something so simple, you know, a phone. You know, it just looks so interesting with that distortion. It's making the phone look larger than it actually is. You know, here's another spot that just works perfectly when you're trying to create leading lines. Oh, 
Okay, now let's jump into the final reason why I love ultra whites for street photography. And that's gonna be texture, you know? Making any type of texture look interesting. You know, this is my favorite. You know, I'm always paying attention to the ground and just looking for interesting textures that I, I know I can use in my compositions. Like right here. You know, it's something that people walk by all the time and never, you know, pay attention to. But this is a type of texture that I'm always looking for. So already I'm liking what I'm seeing. You know, you're distorting that texture, especially in the foreground. And it's almost creating like a leading line as well. See what I'm talking about? See how that texture in the foreground just looks crazy. Like this is what I love. This is why I love ultra whites for street. Cause I just, I love looking for, you know, any type of texture that nobody really pays attention to and using that in my compositions all the time. Whether I'm doing light trails or bokeh, it doesn't matter. This right here is another one of my favorite textures to photograph. Not only because I can make the texture look really interesting, but also because I can create some really cool leading lines with it as well. So if you've never shot with an ultra wide lens before, man, I highly recommend you pick one up. It's probably gonna be the most fun you'll ever have with photography. Cause I mean, I love this lens. There's a reason why, you know, 95% of my shots I've taken with this lens at 10 mil because I just love the unique looks I can get from it. You know, the possibilities are endless, honestly. You just gotta go out and shoot everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, I really enjoyed making this video. I love this lens. So, you know, if you did, you know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I would greatly appreciate it. And, you know, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.